Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into a system that's trying to develop right here in the Gulf of Mexico. I also want to take a look at the wave heights and the Saharan dust, so lots to cover. Now, this in the Gulf of Mexico, if something tropical were to develop, that would be really one of a kind. There have been tropical systems that have developed in the Atlantic Basin uh, in this month, the month of April, April, but out here in the Atlantic, nothing has formed tropical this month on record in the Gulf of Mexico. And as of now, I'm not seeing it develop tropically, but I am seeing a little bit of a spin trying to develop. There is a system that is going to try to form. So I want to get into that again, not tropical in nature, but let me bring it back here again. Flare up of some of the uh, rain and storms, parts of Venezuela, Colombia, watching that. So I'll dive down into the highest chance of rain, thinking of our farmers out there, and get into some of that dust that is around in the Caribbean. But let's get back to this. So here's the Gulf of Mexico, and what happens this time of year is you get these old fronts, and sometimes along the fronts, you can get a little spin up, an individual storm system along it. So we've got some rain in the Gulf of Mexico. That's a spot to watch. This here across the Bahamas. There's been some rain South Florida, Central and Northern Bahamas. That's with an old front. So very active and that is giving us a better chance of spotty showers. Again, Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands today. Even through Montserrat, we could see a passing shower. St. Kitts and uh, Nevis. Now, let me take you out in time. This is by tomorrow, and you see that buildup of rain here. Now, some of this is going to be over land, so a system that tries to develop tropically uh, or even subtropically for to a degree needs to be over the water. At least it likes to be. Again, here's that old front, so still some rain over parts of the Bahamas and Florida. This is the area that may briefly try to form, but again, I'm looking at all the models, everything in the environment, I'm not seeing anything truly forming as far as something tropical, but I'll keep an eye on that. Either way, a lot of rain building here. Now, I'll take that in time even further. This is by the time we get into a Thursday, so as we swing toward the end of the week, you still see the old front hanging here, which means our northern section, so Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, a better chance of rain. Then this system here, as it tries to develop some, will draw a lot of moisture back through Florida and still in the Bahamas and then down the road that will help to draw in some moisture from back to the west into the western Caribbean. So once we get down the road and that system departs whether or not it forms somewhat that'll kind of lift up to the northeast and then that'll open up the floodgates for another system or another area of rain to develop in the Gulf of Mexico and Bay of uh, Campeche. I was talking about this a couple videos ago, and then that could dive down and give the Cayman Islands, parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, and Belize a better chance of rain by the weekend into next week. That's kind of long-term stuff. I'll keep an eye on that for you. Now, the seas. Here's the Gulf of Mexico. Here's the Caribbean. This is in feet. The Caribbean itself, we're looking at just one to two meters, uh, a few feet as far as the seas are concerned. Nothing too terribly bad for the most part, but again, where we have this old front, watching Bermuda back through the Bahamas. That's where we have the uh, higher seas. So we're looking at some spots upwards of about 13 feet plus with the seas there. So heads up again, our mariners, captains over toward the Bahamas, especially anywhere from the Turks and Caicos north up through the Bahamas, looking at some of those choppier seas, higher seas to say the least. Now, here's the coast of Africa. I want to show you as well what we're seeing with the dust. We're not quite into that big dust season where we see these big areas come off, but that's going to be pretty soon. We start to see that May into June. So the thickest dust, of course, is over by Africa. Here's the Atlantic in this kind of gray or rather tan shading we're seeing here. Here's Cuba, for example, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago right here, Guyana and Suriname. And you see some of this tan shading throughout the Caribbean and we've been extra dry. Suriname, Guyana, we haven't had as much rain as we had several weeks ago. And in that, we've had some of the dust move all the way toward Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Costa Rica. We've been dealing with some of the uh, dust. So watching that back through Haiti, over toward uh, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, even Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, Northern Venezuela, Northern Colombia. We've been dealing with some of the dust. Uh, Dominica, Martinique, Guadeloupe, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, uh, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda. We've been seeing some extra dust. Not super thick, but it's been out there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you have where you are. Now, let's get into some forecasts. I mentioned from Jamaica to the north, closer to where the fronts are, better chance of passing showers, 30-40% chance of spotty showers the next several days for my friends in Jamaica, and I'll keep an eye on that system that's trying to develop some in the northern Gulf of Mexico. U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, passing shower chance, 
20, 30% chance later today, tomorrow into Thursday. Again, most of the action is just to the north. So Antigua and Barbuda, same thing, about a 20% chance of a quick passing shower. And again, we'll have that breeze generally moving in out of the east. So keeping an eye on the forecast. Now Aruba, we've been drier with some of the dust, 10, 20% chance of a shower. Consider yourself lucky if you do happen to get a passing shower, but a limited chance of rain over toward the ABC Islands and Guyana. 30 to 40 percent chance we're straw our farmers were we're dealing with some issues now we've been so wet and then we've been so dry uh, over the next couple of days not substantial amounts of rain but spotty showers 30 40 percent chance this includes Suriname as well uh, today, tomorrow, in through Thursday. Trinidad and Tobago watching some of that dust around. Keep an eye on those wildfires, especially western sections of Trinidad. Let me know if you have any in the comments. Watching out for some areas of smoke. Rain chance about 10% the next few days. One or two showers, and that's about it. So I'm watching the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to see a storm system develop, not really seeing it become tropical in nature. At least that's what I'm seeing as of now. A very active pattern there remains. So a lot of storm systems uh, kind of just to the north through the Bahamas, seeing that through through Cuba, and that means more active in our northern zones. I mentioned Jamaica north, that's where we have even Puerto Rico north, that's where we have a better chance of some of those spotty showers up through the Turks and Caicos and then lifting up through the Bahamas and of course back through Bermuda in those higher seas. And keep an eye on the seaweed. There's a good amount out there. I've been seeing your comments, so I'm going to have another update on that as well. Keep you posted. So plenty going on. I'll keep an eye on that system developing in the Gulf of Mexico. Then I mentioned down the road another system that could bring some rain toward the Bay of Campeche and eventually swing more rain toward Belize, Honduras, and the Yucatan of Mexico. That's her down the road. I will monitor that for you. Thank you for being part of this channel. Have a great day ahead.